In this video, I'm going to show you basic audio editing in Reaper. So I'm starting off with a new project and I want to import some audio. So I'm going to go to my hard drive. Right over here, I have a loop. I'm going to drag it into Reaper and put it right on bar one. Let go. Now that file is imported to this project and it puts it on a new track, automatically named the name of that file. Now this is considered a media item and we can move it around just by dragging it. Notice it snaps on the grid, bar three, bar four, and so on. We could turn off snapping right over here using this toolbar button. And now it'll move freely. We'll turn off the grid. Now we don't see those grid lines. Turn it back on. And now it snaps again. We could also hold down the shift key and it ignores snapping. So I could drag it around and it's not going to snap to our grid. Let go of the shift key and now it snaps again. Now, if we don't want that snapping to be so rigid, we could right click this toolbar button. That opens up the snap grid settings. We could adjust the size of our grid, but right over here, it snaps to grid at any distance. If we turn this off, it won't be so rigid. So now I can drag it around. It doesn't snap to the grid, but if I get close to the grid, it kind of behaves like a magnet. Further away, it doesn't snap, get close, and it does. So it's a bit more flexible than the other way, but we could still turn off snapping over here. It doesn't snap or hold down the shift key. Now it doesn't snap, but go with the shift key and it does. So we could do things like cut, paste, copy, paste again over here, undo. We could delete, undo that delete. And all of this is non-destructive. So it doesn't affect anything on our hard drive as it's not deleting any files. And we could always undo any previous actions if we make a mistake. Now, typically there's no tools to choose. Over here, we can do most things just by moving our cursor to different parts of the item. For example, we can grab it just like this, but we could also go to the left side over here. Notice the cursor changes to a trim tool. We can trim the left side like this. It can snap, hold the shift key, and it doesn't snap. And do the same thing on the right side. The cursor changes to a trim tool. Now we can trim the right side of the item, either snapping or not snapping. And that's trimming. But we could also fade in and out based on where we place the cursor. If we go to the upper left corner, the cursor changes to a fade tool. So I could fade in this item or not and do the same thing in the upper right. Fade it out or not or right click to adjust the curve on this side or this side for fading in. Right click and adjust that curve. We could also move the contents within the item. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac. It changes to this tool. Now we could drag around and it doesn't drag the item, just the contents within the item to the left or the right. If we want to put the audio right on the grid like this, moving the contents within the item. And we could also stretch the item, put a cursor over here, hold on the PC, option on the Mac, and we could drag it to stretch it to be faster on either side, faster or slower, and it'll play back faster or slower. So normally it sounds like this. But we could speed it up like this. Or we'll slow it down like this. By stretching the item. And we could also split our items by using the S key. Put our cursor where we want to split, type S, and it splits that item. And then we could select those items, cut them, or paste them, delete them, or whatever. 
And if you want to heal the splits, just select them all, right click, go down here and heal the splits in items. And that makes it one item again. And we can also duplicate these items by dragging. So if I zoom out, we can hold on control on the PC, command on the Mac, and drag this over, and it duplicates that item. Let's do it twice. Now we have three media items of this loop. Now, if we move the items on top of each other, by default, they're going to crossfade. This one fades out, and this one fades in. If we don't want that behavior, we could turn off crossfades right here with this toolbar button. Now, if I drag this over this one, they both play like this. Here in both items at the same time. If we don't want that behavior, we can go to the options menu and turn on trim content behind media items when editing. This is off by default, but if we turn it on and we drag our items on top of each other, the first one trims the second. So if I let go, this one is now trimmed and we're not going to hear both. Pull this out, see how it's trimmed, move it over on top, it actually deletes this item. So it trims it so you only hear one item at a time. As opposed to this way, where we could hear both on top of each other. Now we could select multiple items, hold on the shift key if they're next to each other to select multiple items, or use control on the PC, command on the Mac to choose items that are not next to each other. So I could deselect this one, or just select this one and this one, and not this one. Or all three, or hold shift to select them all. Or we can lasso them, which means right click and drag and grab all three to choose all three. Or just two like this, or these two, or again, all three. And with multiple items selected, we could edit them together. Of course, we can cut them or paste them or delete them. But we could also trim them on the left side and they all trim together. We'll do the same on the right side and they all trim together. We could adjust the contents within all together like this. We could stretch them all together on this side or this side to stretch many items at the same time. But we can't fade them, at least not like this. If I fade this one, it only fades this one. But if we have items on multiple tracks, because these items all start at the same place, if we fade them in, they fade in together because they all start at the same spot. And the same with the end over here, or the start over here, the end over here, and so on. So you need to start or end in the same place to fade them together. Now, if you find it awkward, right dragging with the lasso tool to select our items, maybe using a trackpad where right dragging is a bit harder, there's a new toolbar button over here. Notice it's animated when chosen. It will let us use left drag to lasso select our items. So I can drag like this to select these items or these without having to use right drag. With this button chosen, we could use left drag. Hit it again, and now left dragging moves our items. We could also use razor editing to edit within our items. Pull down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right drag. We can create a razor edit, which works within our items and across our items based on areas. So I could drag it from here down, and just this area is now selected, which we could delete or paste, or cut, undo, or even duplicate control on the PC, command on the Mac, like this. And we can do it across items, across tracks, to add to the razor edit, basically trimming it on the right side, or the left side, up and down, to readjust this razor edit, which again, we can move around, delete, cut, paste, and so on. 
We could also create multiple razor edit areas by adding in the shift key. So on PC, it's Alt Shift, and on Mac, it's Option Shift. Hold it down and right drag, and we can create multiple razor edit areas across different tracks, just like this. And again, we could delete this, and it deletes just those areas. We could move it, we could cut it, and paste it as you want. If you want to delete the razor edit areas, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and that deletes each one. Or if you want to delete all of them, add in the Shift key. So Alt Shift on the PC, or Option Shift on the Mac, and just click any of the razor edit areas, and they all get cleared. Now, just like with the lasso tool, if you find it too awkward to alt right drag on the PC or option right drag on the Mac to create razor edits, we could do it by left dragging with this new toolbar button. Select it, notice it's animated. Now we can create razor edit areas just by left dragging. Create one here or here, drag it down across multiple tracks, multiple items, any way we want. And just turn this off and left dragging once again moves the items the same way as the default. So that's pretty much it. That's basic audio editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.